If you ask, if you ask almost anybody in the United States, what is our oldest ally in the Middle East? Uh, 95% of them who know what the Middle East is will probably answer Israel. Mm -hmm. And of course, the truth is that Saudi Arabia is our oldest ally in the Middle East, going back to the Second World War when uh, uh, Franklin Roosevelt met with uh, then uh, uh, King uh, Ibn Saud, uh, Abdul Aziz, and uh, established this first U.S. Middle Eastern alliance. And this alliance has continued throughout the years uh, since then. Uh, and in fact, not only isn't Israel our first ally in the Middle East, it's not our second either. Our second ally in the Middle East was the, sh the Shah's Iran, <laughs> Persia, uh, going back to the 50s, after Saudi Arabia, but well before the alliance that the U.S. established with Israel, especially during the late 60s and early 70s. Mm. Until then, Israel, U.S. was friendly to Israel, but had no particularly close relationship. Israeli weapons came from France and Britain in those days, before the 70s, not the United States. So Saudi Arabia is the oldest U.S. ally and remains one of the keystones of our policy in the Middle East. And I want to tell just an illustration, a little personal anecdote. In the late 1970s, I went to work for GE and Lynn, General Electric Company and Lynn, in their uh, Marine Steam Turbine Division. And the first job I worked on uh, in Lynn was, was the engines for a series of fast missile boats that were designated that had been sold and ordered by Iran. Well, midway through 1979, that order was canceled because the Shah was in exile and uh, had left. But no worry, uh, Saudi Arabia got the boats in the end. Uh, so that was my introduction to uh, to the way the arms sales in the Middle East work. There's always a ready buyer for U.S. arms, and uh, in return, the arms companies lobby for this continuing trade. So we're going to talk more about this, and you, I know you're going to have questions. We have two speakers. The first, uh, Medea Benjamin, I think you all probably know, uh, a founder of uh, the, the peace organization Code Pink. Uh, she's written many books appeared on your computer screen or TV screen in many times, many different times and many different places. In fact, I sometimes think that uh, Medea is actually a committee of people pretending to be one person. Uh, or or, or uh, part of a family, I don't know if any of you have seen the, uh, the uh, BBC uh, series Orphan Black. Maybe she's got a series of clones that she uh, operates with around the world. She's gonna talk to us about Saudi Arabia. And uh, Rabia Al-Tabani is uh, uh, actually from Yemen, and Yemen is the other side of what's going on in Saudi Arabia today, the bombing and so on. She's a Yemeni-American, uh, a graduate of Columbia University, works uh, assisting uh, people at risk in New York City, and is very active in the Yemeni-American community. And uh, she's visited Yemen several times in recent years, and is going to talk about Yemen and the impact of Saudi Arabia on Yemen. So let's start with uh, Medea, and uh, we'll have time for questions. <laughs>